Well, Carolyn, Governor Gretchen Whitmer and state lawmakers are under fire. Groups representing countless survivors of catastrophic accidents calling for a change at a rally in Lansing. 7 Action reporter Simon Shakehead with their pushback against the latest auto insurance legislation. Speakers at today's rally say life-saving health care has been taken away from the most vulnerable people, and that is why they're here on the steps of the Capitol to take a stand. Chanting loud and proud outside the Michigan State Capitol, opponents of the recently signed law that promised to deliver savings statewide on auto insurance say it's actually stripping accident survivors of desperately needed medical expense coverage. Some of us are angry. Some of us are disappointed. Some of us feel betrayed as we were betrayed. Three-year-old Amora Harris from Detroit, among survivors who've nearly tapped the $250,000 limit for medical expenses. Her mother, Emmy Gillen, says previously Michigan laws would have provided Amora with unlimited benefits after she was struck by a driver who fled when she was crossing the street. It happened July 28th um, on Iroquois Street in Detroit, Michigan. She has spinal cord injuries, um, also femur, wrists, knuckles, uh, fingers. That amount, $250,000. It's gone, it's done. It doesn't last long. Demonstrators believe growing calls for an increase in catastrophic injury coverage will lead to change that ensures better quality of life. For now, State Senator Peter Lacido of Macomb County, who voted for the recent law, says there's more to this issue, which involves Michigan learning from other states whose people pay far less for auto insurance. I feel very sorry and I feel very much your pain. But at the end of the day, how are other states like Wisconsin, Chicago and Ohio, our sister states, getting along with doing exactly what we needed to do a long time ago. There were a total of 19 state lawmakers taking part in today's rally, and they say they will continue to fight for this cause until the problem is resolved. From the Capitol, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.